for articles today, I stumbled across this gem and thought it was a joke, but it turns out it's a real thing. Twitch game store owner rejects customer's bizarre adult Pokemon trade-in game. Pokemon my ass. So I thought this was some kind of troll and somebody had just slapped a, uh, I guess it's technically safe for work cover on a Pokemon game, but no, this is a whole real thing. So I'm going to be going over this article. I'm going to read it. I'm going to explain what this game actually is. And I think I might have to stream it for you guys one day. But before we get into it, guys, make sure you smash that like. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you share this one out because it's funny. All right, grifting done. Let's get into it. Game store owner and Twitch streamer DS Koopa shocked viewers by revealing a wild adult Pokemon game that a customer tried to trade in. Weird physical versions of hacked games can provide for unique entertainment, and we've seen some hilarious examples of the year, such as Pokemon X League of Legends crossover. As such, working at a game store, you'd expect to come across some strange titles, and DS Koopa didn't disappoint by revealing his recent offering. On September 25th, DS Koopa was streaming and decided to share a new adult Pokemon game that came into his possession at Pink Gorilla Games, and why he had to unfortunately turn it down that cover art is fantastic <laughs> oh weird adult poking it according to the pink gorilla games owner a customer came in at the end of the day with a game that he felt needed to be shared with the masses we got a very interesting repro cartridge traded in unfortunately we don't actually purchase these so i hand had to hand it back to the customer in the photo DS Koopa shared, the game is called Pokemon My Ass and features two trainers with oversized bottoms. No, they're not oversized. Those are perfect. On display for the box art. A description of the game found on Poke Harbor lists a bunch of changes this game made to Fire Red, including many NPCs not having shirts, Brock wearing a bikini, and the option to buy Pokemon from the Pokemart. Oh my god. God, that's fantastic. Some of the in-game dialogue is definitely not what you'd find in an official Pokemon game, so it's easy to see why this wasn't allowed to be traded in and sold at the store. Who cares if it's official? If people are going to pay for it, fucking sell it. That said, for those interested in a much different type of Pokemon experience, it might be worth checking out. Just don't expect to find it at Pink Gorilla Games. Okay, whatever. So some top G tried to trade in this game. Let's take a look at what it actually is. All right, so I'm going to preface this. You can play a bunch of different uh, portable consoles on your computer at home. Which is actually kind of awesome. Now, there have been some court issues and some court rulings that rule it's not illegal. But companies still try and copyright claim it and get the stuff taken down. So, it's a little touch and go. So, if you can find it, absolutely do it. And I did do a previous video on this a while ago. Uh, where I was covering how Steam pulled down the Dolphin emulator for reasons... Uh, there's been some updates to that, but maybe I'll save that for a different video. But essentially, you can still get the Dolphin emulator. You can play all these games. There's nothing wrong that I've found. But I'm not a lawyer, so don't ever take advice from me. So let's get back to where we're about talking about Pokemon My Ass. Pokemon My Ass is a Pokemon GBA ROM hack by Lucas Urso E. Bobby based on Pokemon Fire Red, Codebase English... Codebase engine in English and is now available for download. Features. The clothes are changed. Our protagonist will have no shirt. Many of the NPCs will have no shirt and a bare chest instead. I wonder whether they are trying to show their muscles or not. Our gym leaders are also changed. You can see many weird things such as Brock with a bikini. Okay. The main goal of, the main goal of our main character is not the same as others. Text has changed as well. You can enjoy many different events that relate to your Pokemon. The Ninja Squirtle on the sewers. Holy shit, that's kind of awesome. <laughs> a Ninja Turtle. That's that's great. Fishing in a volcano. Etc. Etc. 
For now, you can buy Pokemon in Pokemart. Just prepare enough money to do so. So let's take a couple look at the screenshots. Oh, it's not going to let me pull them up. Uh, is there another way to do it? Nope. All right, so you got the download links. That's fantastic. Okay, so it does look like the mega link is broken, but the media fire one works. So I just jacked that copy. I'm definitely going to have to stream this for you guys. I, I just got to make sure there's no nudity because YouTube does not like that. So, guys, I saw this article. I had to take a read because I thought it was just hilarious. I had to figure out exactly what it was. Like I said, I thought it was a troll, but it turns out it's a real game that I apparently now have a copy of. So I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Do you think this is as funny as I do? Do you want to see me play this on stream? And what do you think about this dude saying he doesn't want to buy the game to, to sell it? Like, come on, dude. But maybe that's just the Jew in me. But while you're there, make sure you drop me a like. Make sure you're subscribed. And share this one out. And until the next one, be easy like sleazy.